we're going to touch upon this. This is a story courtesy of the BBC regarding the unfortunate events that um, preceded a Asake, or I think it's pronounced Ashake, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, who's a very very popular um, Afrobeat artist at the moment, who's absolutely smashing it and doing absolutely amazing things. His recent album that came out, or EP, however you want to call it, was really really impressive. I've been playing it a lot on my phone at the moment. Let me actually pull up what the name of it is because I forgot. But um, he's been someone that I've definitely been a fan of over the last few months, having only recently discovered him. I'm not going to say I was a big fan prior, but his album is called Mr. Money with the Vibe. And it legitimately is maybe one of the best Afrobeat type albums I've heard in a very long time. You think of somebody like, a, you know, um, what's his face? A Burner Boy or a Whiz Kid, you know, being some of the top, top people out there. And for sure, Ashake is definitely up there in terms of his appeal and his ability to make music that just touches your soul. Because I feel like for me, Maybe I'm one of those people, I'm a bit of a casual Afrobeats listener, and I feel like a lot of the stuff ends up sounding the same. There was a period in Afrobeats where everyone was kind of coming out with the same type of vibe, and it was a bit boring, obviously, until I found people like Remmer and stuff who were really doing cool, interesting things with their voice, and the tonality and instrumentation and whatnot. That was obviously elevating the sound, but overall, everyone was basically sounding like poor imitations of, you know, Davido, to, you know, Burner Boy, Wizkid and whatnot. But I feel like Ashake is definitely someone that's kind of brought something fresh and new. So it's no surprise that there's been such a big demand for his events, especially when you consider um, some of the viral videos that have been going around in terms of people going to parties and having a great time and all these dancers coming out and doing great. But unfortunately, the event that happened in Brixton Academy here in London was an absolute tragedy because I'm assuming people saw some of the earlier dates that happened um, in the UK I think there was an event in Birmingham that obviously has a bit of trouble also but I think there's maybe a couple more dates in London that people were really excited about and the videos went viral and people basically were you know pumped to go but then the event was sold out way 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 in advance and there was an abundance of people who turned up to Brixton Academy with no ticket or who turned up with tickets that were fake I don't know which way it goes so there's a lot of people that came there basically um, just to try and see if they could finagle their way in but I guess everybody had the same idea. So when you add all the people that are turning up there for a sold out event and people that didn't turn up there with tickets, that's a lot of people. And they decided to cause a bit of a ruckus outside to the point where people were pushing and, you know, and trying to basically storm the door, which they ended up doing. But then as soon as they stormed the door, the event was locked up because the event was over capacity and they become a fire hazard and obviously a health risk. But during that whole rush to go in front of the door and try to get in, Unfortunately, a couple of people were very, very badly injured. I think at the time, which is crazy to think at the time, at the time, the official rumors that came out at the time uh, when it was happening, because I was kind of following it in real time on Twitter and whatnot, was that two people passed away. I remember tweeting something like, oh my God, I hope that isn't true. But one random girl somewhere was saying, yeah, I saw someone on Snapchat that said two people definitely passed away. And that was at on the scene, which is weird because these two ladies who ended up passing away, ended up passing away a couple of days later. So I'm not too sure if people that were there saw these women in really bad shape and thought, hey, this is no way they're going to survive this. Or I don't know, but it's just interesting how that has kind of transpired to be the case. These two ladies have obviously succumbed to injuries. But if I'm not mistaken, it was three people that were severely injured from the event. So similar to what happened that kind of like um, Astro World with Travis Scott and two of them unfortunately succumbed to their injuries the first one being a mother of two um, absolutely tragic especially when you consider this lady Rebecca Iku Mello um, 33 from Newham the same borough that I grew up in in East London um, died so you know I'm sure she's somebody who I probably share a lot of mutual friends with I don't really know her personally myself but I'm sure if I looked close enough I could find a lot of people that know her that also know me so that definitely is a bit too close to home but the uh, article reads as follows a woman has died after being injured in a crush at a gig in London's Brixton Auto Academy that left several others hurt the concert by Afro pop singer Ashake um, had to be abandoned part way through after a large number of people tried to force their way inside on Thursday the Met Police said from what I read on Instagram or from what I read on Twitter in real time people were saying allegedly people are saying allegedly that there was up to 3,000 people that didn't have tickets that turned up that sounds a bit insane to me personally because I didn't see 3,000 people on the flipping videos outside but even just a thousand is too many people if you don't have a ticket stay your ass at home trying to bum rush the you know the stage or the flipping door to try and get in is only going to lead to flipping 
you know, misery and pain. And I saw a lot of violent exchanges with police. I saw one video of some police officer pushing some girl off the stairs of Bristol. If you've been to Bristol Academy, you'll know it's got a couple of stairs that you kind of walk up on. Not the highest, don't get me wrong, but still pushing a girl full pelt. And luckily, I think some guys were able to hold her or kind of cushion her force. So she didn't absolutely bang her head on the concrete, which would have been really crazy. But there's a lot of kind of that kind of violence. I saw some other videos. Some guy looked like he was homeless, um, slapping a police officer in the face or maybe trying to slap his hat off his face, I think, which was wild to see um, some crazy exchanges but yeah that's allegedly there's up to maybe 1,000 to 3,000 people that didn't have tickets so you can only imagine mother of two Rebecca Ukumela 33 of Newham East London died in hospital on Saturday morning the Met said her family said she was a nursing graduate known for her care and kindness two other women aged 21 and 23 remain in critical condition and police added as Shake said that he was overwhelmed with grief and devastated by her death the artist said that he had spoken to Mr Kula's family and asked people to keep them in our prayers in a statement released through the Met her family said Miss Ukum Ukumela was an adorable mother of two children who loved working with kids absolutely tragic and i think the kids are legitimately must be under 10 and what makes it tragic also i'm pretty sure one of the kids has like learning disabilities or something you know which you can only imagine a kid like that growing up like you know like how you kind of trying to process that kind of information of your kind of your 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 mum passing must be wild uh but yeah just a mum went out to have some fun on a weekday maybe some rare time where you get to you know spend some time on your own and party and have a have some fun you you, you know it's the one time you could basically afford to maybe have a babysitter or the one time you maybe wanted to be you know away from your kids a one night just to kind of have some fun again just to chill whatever and you go and then it turns into an absolute horror show man oh my thoughts of fiends go out to her and her family absolutely horrible um, they said she was well respected by uh, for in the family for her care kindness and love her parents call her tossin short for all of her tossin meaning lord is worthy a cabin music group um which owns and runs a venue said in a statement all of o2 Brixton academy and academy music group deeply saddened about the news of tragic death of rebecca ukumelo we send our heartfelt condolences to rebecca's family and friends and our thoughts with everyone affected by this devastating news and to make matters even worse a second lady a second lady um passed named by gabby hutchinson um, as you can see, that's there on the picture there. And I think she's even younger. A uh, second person has died. Gabby Hutchinson, aged 23, died in hospital in the early hours of Monday, 9th of December. He was working. What is that? He? Okay, maybe pronouns wise. Um, he was working as one of the contracted security providers for the event at the evening. Rebecca Comella, 33, also died aside in the morning. Another woman, 21, remains hospital fighting for her life. So there's three people currently that were obviously in critical condition. Two have passed away and one's fighting for their life. Absolutely tragic, man. You cannot imagine how tragic that is. So this is definitely a wider conversation to be had around you know safety about these events i don't think it's a conversation that should be specifically tailored towards black people i've seen a lot of that conversation or narrative go around i feel like if you see the amount of events that have had trouble you know especially in the last couple of years or so especially off the back of the pandemic and people just not knowing how to act once the restrictions were lifted i don't think it's un i don't think it's that far-fetched to say that two and a half years that we were basically you know out of practice in terms of being in big groups has essentially led to these unfortunate events happening but i don't think it's a problem you can say is only affecting the black community i think there's too many events out there um that this type of things happen at obviously if you're only worried about your own community it's definitely something to worry about because i feel like a lot of people myself included saw the videos of ashaki's performance earlier on in the week at brixton academy like this video of this dancer dancing on stage covered in what looks like water. all right covered in what looks like water dancing on stage i think this was a, a element of the entire show if i'm not mistaken there'd always be a dancer that he'd bring out maybe this is a professional guy don't get me wrong but the on the other occasion there was like person that would come out who was maybe a viral star who went you know famous for lip syncing or dancing to a particular song and he'd bring them out on stage and people would be like oh my god look it's that person on tiktok and whatnot that'd be a cool element to kind of add to the overall show and you get to see them on the screen behind there massive beam in front of you this was pretty cool but I feel like these videos and other videos, they really gave you a, a sense of how um, 
expansive the show was like he had a full band on there there's fire flames there's a stage design this guy's covered in what look, looks like a, there's an overhead shower or something there like legitimately he went hard in the paint production wise and these are the kind of shows that you want to go to because it looks like the type of thing where maybe they're not they're not even in the red they probably don't make that much money off these type of shows because everything goes into production but the quality of the show is so good that it makes the price of admission fully fully worth it and all the hassle in terms of like queuing and going out so this is one of those rare occasions where somebody's ability to put on a great show has essentially added to the hype and the law or the the anticipation for the event and then all these people that didn't have tickets tried to chance it on a night and then that ended up causing an absolute clusterfuck of a situation that led to people's lives you know losing their lives basically at this event i'd say if you definitely went there without a ticket you bes- you definitely have to feel some level of guilt but if not go as far as saying you have blood on your hands that's a bit extreme and a little maybe a little bit too ott but for sure you have to feel some level of guilt that you may inadvertently put people's lives at risk to the point where they legitimately lost their lives like it's absolutely wild to think that and if even if the reports are like 500 people extra that came without tickets you can just imagine all the people that because i'd imagine if you don't have a ticket you're going to come early just to slip in so people might have slipped in with fake tickets or bribed bouncers because that happens a lot in london venues unfortunately um a lot of these bouncers will willingly take money from people and let them kind of bounce a queue and let them come in without any ticket so imagine all the people that arrive there with no tickets and you're arriving on time thinking that you're gonna skip the openers and you want to move all the other dj stuff and you want to see the main show you turn up and you see a big horde of people outside trying to push and be aggro and stuff and you start getting involved because you legitimately paid for your maybe you you paid double the price or whatnot or triple and you kind of add to the whole conundrum i can just imagine it just being entirely a shit show especially because i've been at brixton academy a few times and i know how rowdy and how uncontrollable it can get outside of that venue especially if it being on the corner of the street with there being sort of multiple entrances not really but kind of it's kind of it's a sort it's a hard place to do a lot of crowd management and try to make that work especially if people decide to turn up so definitely a conversation worth having in that regard but i just feel like the focus should always be on the victims so you know r.i.p to gabby hutchinson only 23 years old absolute tragedy and also r.i.p to rebecca ukumelo man absolute horrific i can't imagine what their family are going for just before christmas to have this thing happen um especially when you take into account you know rebecca being a mother of two like force and feelings and prayers go out to the flipping kids and obviously um for gabby hutchinson the family you leave behind also only being 23 years of age earning some money on the side and doing your bit and then now suddenly you lost your life because you're trying to essentially you're putting your life at risk trying to protect the audience and punters and whatnot and that ends up costing you your life absolutely horrendous and I don't know who's to blame. I really don't know. I really don't know who's to blame in this effect. Um, because I feel like, you know, good crime management, even if you get an abundance of people, you can maybe maintain it. That would work. I feel like maybe security guards party to blame. A lot of people that went there about tickets are to blame also. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of lawsuits around this stuff and whatnot. And it might eventually even lead to the flipping closing of Brixton Academy. I can definitely see that happening if they deem it not to be fit for purpose, but absolute tragedy man absolute tragedy so r.i.p to the victims r.i.p to the victims